You wake up one morning to see the price of GameStop, AMC, and many more skyrocket. You wonder, what the hell happened? And click on GameStop in your Robinhood app. Your jaw drops as you see the crazy gains. Over 100% in a couple of hours. And still climbing. You scan the news to see what's going on. The first article states, How Wall Street Bets Push GameStop Stock to the Moon. Wall Street bets took over the market this week and proved that retail investors were something to be reckoned with. If you're not familiar with Wall Street bets and what they did, I'll give you a brief explanation. Wall Street bets, a subreddit of so-called degenerates who discuss stock and options trading, discovered GameStop, a stock which has been on the decline since November of 2013. One of the members noticed that there was quite a lot of something called short interest on the stock. In fact, there were so many shares sold short that there was actually more short interest in the stock than there was actual shares outstanding. This same member outlined how that if they all bought the stock, the same people who were short GameStop would have to buy GameStop in order to cover their losses. This is called a short squeeze. Many big firms were on the back end of the short squeeze and they lost billions. It was brilliant. The people at Wall Street Bets had said F you to the big hedge funds and profited at the same time. They took over Wall Street. Wall Street bets. Which Wall Street bets. And Wall Street bets. Wall Street bets. GameStop. The whole GameStop. Companies like GameStop, but now. GameStops. GameStop. A perfect story. A couple of average Joes had made bank. They had discovered a quick money glitch and capitalized off of it. The end. But no, the tale doesn't end there. On January 28th, Robinhood suspended the ability to buy shares of GameStop. App users were allowed only to sell their positions, not open new ones or add to their existing holdings in GameStop. The stock fell. Retail traders were mad. They speculated that the big hedge funds were behind this. These same hedge funds that had lost billions of dollars. More specifically, the members of Wall Street Bets believed that there was a connection. Now, let me take you down the rabbit hole. The people at Wall Street Bets had squeezed Melvin Capital. Melvin was getting squeezed so hard that they needed a bailout from Citadel, a very well-known hedge fund run by Ken Griffin. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Citadel Securities, a market maker sister firm of Citadel, is connected to Robinhood. $39 million of Robinhood's revenue from equities and options order flow came from Citadel Securities. Basically, the dudes who bailed out Melvin Capital Citadel are connected to Robinhood and Robinhood just so happens to shut down the ability to buy more GameStop and others. The stock falls and effectively making back some of the money for Melvin Capital. Does that smell? Yeah, that smells fishy to me too. Despite all of this, there was a much bigger worry on Wall Street. 